Good news for spring skiing, extending that season a little more. But now you're getting into the time of year where you want to go ski, but then the weather's getting nicer. It's spring. You want to do the spring things too. Right. You got to kind of mix it up a little bit. Not enough days in the week. <laughs> well, well, speaking of spring, Easter, just a few weeks away now, and a local farm wants you to think out of the box when it comes to the Easter photo just shoots. Definitely out of the box thinking here. You often associate bunnies and chicks with the holiday, but how about some cuddly llamas and alpacas instead? Why not? Core Harlan joining us live now from Mountain Peaks Therapy Llamas and Alpacas in Ridgefield to explain what they're <laughs> offering some families. Core, you look right at home. Well, we're out here. Hey, why not do a why not do an Easter shoot with an alpaca or a llama? There, as you can see, they're pretty good telegenic critters out here. Uh, sans the little underbite there. That's kind of a, the white guy's overbite right there. He's got a pretty severe case of this. But they're beautiful. They're cute. They're cuddly. And man, I wish you could put your, your hand in that fur bed there because I'm telling you that that is just a scarf waiting to happen or a sweater waiting to happen right there. This is Smokey right here. He's a, a llama. This is JP here. He's an alpaca. This is Shannon right here. She's their owner. And this is Olivia right here. She takes pictures of them. Let's start from left to right, Shannon, and talk a little bit about people's uh, joy of, of, of having pictures taken with these critters for uh, for Easter. Yeah, it's been so fun um, getting to invite families out to the farm and take some really fun and beautiful photos, make lots of memories with these alpacas. You said they're very photogenic right, and right. it just everyone's natural smiles and giddy and laughing and it's just such a fun fun way to celebrate spring and right. Easter. And this kind of works together too because uh, uh, they're nine to five jobs. These guys are therapy animals for a lot of different varieties of, of uh, people that uh, come out here and spend some time with them. So it, uh, that sort of goes hand in hand with, with people being around them, taking pictures with them and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, my mom and I have been sharing our llamas and alpacas for the last 15 years for therapy and education, going inside a lot of senior communities and special needs schools. So they are pros with excitable children. <laughs> We've had a lot of kids running around and um, throwing Easter eggs at them, and the parents are always so apologetic, and we're always like, nope, that's <laughs> there, you see. Bop his nose, it's okay, they're sweet and cuddly. Is, these ears are kind of <laughs> cute, too. They got real ears back here. They put them back, but that is just what is it? Is, are they just tired or are they just not awake yet? They're pretty awake. chill yet, aren't you? <laughs> Look how chill that guy is. You're pretty chill, dude. You're pretty chill. And as a photographer, I'm guessing, Olivia, your big thing is to get people to smile, and this probably helps a lot. You don't have to do very much to get people to smile, I guess. No, right? it makes it very easy. It's such a fun and unique experience, and we've had a lot of families kind of start new traditions where they're coming out for every holiday, and the kids get to look forward to it. So it's just been really neat, and it's cool to see kids get to experience it for the first time and then be excited to come back the next time. Yeah, yeah. Well, they put together a cool backdrop here of uh, spring colors and flowers, and I'm telling you what, I'm standing right here between these guys. You see this, Carl, now? So one is leaning on one leg, the <laughs> other one is leaning on my other leg, and in about 60 seconds here, my legs are starting to get warm. I can feel the heat coming off of the, uh, off of the fur there. Really cool. They are also, after my own heart, food motivated. We'll get some carrots here as well. 30 seconds or so on if people want to get some pictures taken with these two. Uh, what exactly do they do? Yeah, you can find out all of the uh, things of our farm at Rojo the Llama, R-O-J-O. -O. Um, and we also offer free therapeutic um, uh, Therapeutic visitations too for those with special needs or the elderly that need to come out and get out of the house and get some llama love. We're also here for you um, Monday through Friday for that too, which is really so wonderful. So it's roho, roho the llama the llama com to get uh, some reservations set up here right. for Easter. Give me some carrots here. Let's finish around it out here. I love these guys again because they are so definitely food motivated. Look at you. You you go. Ooh. Ooh. God. Yeah. Hey, JP. JP. Hmm? What do you do? Go. You so cute. If you go out so. of each corner, they'll both kiss you at the same time. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I'll kiss it. Oh, that's just going to, yeah. Hmm? Gosh, yeah. Go on, go on. Oh, you. Oh, 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 fighting for coal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Going to have to fight me for the carrot there, honey. <laughs> go ahead. I'll give you the you shoot. Anyway. How sweet these guys are. They're so cool for Easter and any time in between. They're just the sweetest animals and really tell a genuine use was right. That's right. And you are motivated by food, which I just He's love because that's carrots. me too. Yeah. Hey, so you're the like carrot guy now. animal. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, that looks like I'm so I'm the much carrot fun. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to spend Easter, part of Easter anyway.